speaker is a Navy vet and entrepreneur who's going to take us to an unexpected place at the cross section of art, fashion, and philanthropy. Welcome, LeByron Thomas. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh wow, look at all these awesome people in here. All right, anyway, I'm gonna be looking at my slides a lot because I didn't write down anything. Um, so here you go, we got our art, fashion, and philanthropy in the city. Um, well, before I get into this whole aspect of why I think all this stuff is awesome, as you can see, I spent a lot of time in the military. I did something pretty cool, it's NATO. Um, I don't even recognize some of those countries, but anyway, it was awesome. <laughs> So along with that, uh, we, we did some really cool missions. Uh, we were on these awesome vessels, as you can see there. We played for the leader, tag, and all those things. And we went across Eastern um, Europe. Um, I had a great opportunity to visit uh, my favorite places like Spain, France, Italy, and naked beaches in Greece, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> and I was on a detail in media. I got a chance to cover a lot of stuff, a lot of, um, we were trying to help out guys back home so they can understand what they're getting themselves into before they come, over, uh, before they come overseas. So I got a chance to cover some of that stuff. Um, as I got out, I went to Hollywood. I'm like, okay, I really love entertainment and media. I was like, this is pretty cool. But Hollywood is nuts. And I'm like, okay, I like the entourage things, but you guys are kind of immoral. You know, I like served in the military. Um, I still got this whole, you know, honor, courage, commitment thing going on. I'm thinking about my work ethic, my values, and I'm like, I can't do this. I'm not going to stab somebody in the back to make a dollar. So I'm just like, you know what? I miss home. I miss Dallas. I grew up in the suburbs. I don't even know what downtown is about, uptown, you know, things of that nature. So I came back. I just came back to the beautiful city of Dallas. Um, I started a company, Texas Authentic Productions, and I really love community media. I love the, just capturing people, whether it's photos, videos, interviews, whatever. And I did a lot of humanitarian work, so I'm just like, okay, I took Art History 1 and 2 as well. I'm just like, how can I combine art and community? So I was like, where are some startups around that I can kind of help out? So I ended up finding some business partners uh, in art, uh, whereas, wait on the next slide, <laughs> whereas uh, we did a cool thing called Posh Public, uh, which we get with art, artists, and we go to cool venues in Uptown, and we put on these extravagant events, you know, for our guests. And then it gets kind of interesting because you come across like these awesome artists. Like right here, you got Christina D. Yielding, who's in the crowd, by the way. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> um, we did something really cool with Art Love Magic. Um, I'm up here, she's teaching me how to, I don't even know what that is, but I did okay. <laughs> so what I discovered is while I'm capturing, you know, my footage, I come to find out a lot of these artists actually are pretty cool. You know, Christina's cool, a couple other people are pretty cool, but they're really interesting because their skill set goes in depth. You know, it goes even into more, so I'm like captivated by their work. And then moving on to fashion, I'm just like, okay, I'm not done. I'm loving this startup thing, so I end up meeting my business partner for our company, The Martyr Man, uh, where we just get into custom clothing for men. And she's like, let's make this fun and interesting. And I was like, how? She was like, we need to do some cool media. That's where everything is going. And we need to like capture videos and stuff. So we're like hanging out in the showroom. I'm trying on different clothes, you know, stuff I normally wouldn't wear, looking like the Pink Panther or something, and she's laughing. Um, but, but it's a lot of fun to be able to connect, you know, with people. Um, this is just one of the slides that we do, like, you know, one of our promos or whatever. We kind of, you know, bang heads. And the whole goal is like, look good, feel good. And um, I really take that to heart now because now that she's taught me a lot of things about fashion, you know, every day I look good, feel good. And I saw you guys out in the crowd. There's a lot of people like Matt. He looks pretty awesome today. Um, the great thing about this job, it takes me back to L.A. on good terms. You know, I'm not like all shady and hiding from people. But I get to hang out in L.A. with my, with Christina, I mean, I'm sorry, with Rebecca and then my girlfriend uh, right there. Uh, moving on into philanthropy, um, Dress of Success reached out to me like, hey, can you come out and cover some video? I didn't really know what Dress of Success did, but they really help out a lot of people, a lot of women that are down and out, you know, just bummed out, and they give them clothes and stuff. So I'm like back there looking. Then they're all like, you want to model in some of our fashion events? I was like, all right, cool. So, you know, I get dressed up in a little lather, a little gray. You know, this was for Night of Inspiration. Um, it, was really, um, it was a really nice night uh, for that. Uh, moving forward, um, as we continue with the philanthropy, Roundup for Autism reached out to me like, hey, can you come out and shoot video for us? I'm like, all right. I ended up meeting this cool robot named Milo. It teaches the autism kids like just all kind of uh, facial expressions and things of that nature. It helps with their development, um, which is just pretty awesome. And then I get to take my work and I get to showcase in, all, in front of all the supporters and you know, help them raise money. So as a military veteran, it's nice to come back to Dallas and be a part of the community and where I can give back and you know, show my skill set 
and really put on for, you know, all of these nice uh, philanthropic organizations. Um, anyway, Dallas is pretty awesome. I'm actually happy to be back here, and this event is pretty cool itself, and thank you for your time.